Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. For the Lord is in his holy temple, and all the earth keeps sounds before him. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning, clothed in my right mind, with a reasonable portion of health and strength. I pray, Lord God, that as your word goes forth on today, that it falls on some good ground, that lives are changed and touched by this, O oh God. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me as I prepare to deliver thy word to the saints. I pray, Lord God, that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart are acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Right now, Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless those on their way to work and bless those on their way to school. Give us thy word on today, O oh Lord, so that we may know the truth and be set free by it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The subject of our text this morning is entitled, Breaking the Chains More Than Conquerors. Our text comes from the book of Romans, the 8th chapter, the 37th verse, and I will read these things to you from the Amplified Version. Yet amid all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him that loved us. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the time has come to break the chains of sadness, break the chains of depression, break the chains of low self-esteem, Break the chains of financial problems. Break the chains of problems in your marriages. Break the chains of problems in your relationships. Break the chains when you have problems with your children. Break the chains when you have problems on your job. The time has come to break the chains of cancer. Break the chains of drug addictions. Break the chains of alcohol addictions. Break the chains of prostitution, pornography, mental illness, aches and pains in our bodies. Pain, addiction to pain medication, addiction to prescription drugs, break the chains of bondage and captivity, break the chains of oppression. The time has come, my brothers and my sisters, to break the chains of feeling unworthy by your spouses or the people that you are in relationships with. The time has come to break the chains of doubt and fear. The time has truly come, my brethren, to break the chains of loneliness, break the chains of agony, break the chains of misery. Break the chains of having a lack of faith. Break the chains of having a lack of trust. Break the chains of hopelessness. Break the chains of procrastination. Break the chains of ignorance. Break the chains of failure. Break the chains of envy, greed, lust, jealousy, pride, wrath, sloth, gluttony, personal struggles, trials, tribulations. The time has come to break all of these things in the name of Jesus. In the midst of all of these things, those things not mentioned. The time has truly come, my brothers and my sisters, to break all of these chains in the name of Jesus. The truth of the matter is this. With God on our side, we'll be able to break the chains that hold us back from our spiritual breakthroughs and blessings. For we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. The time has come to break these chains in your lives, my brothers and my sisters. Break these things that are holding you back. Break these things that are causing you to be hindered to get your spiritual breakthrough in the Lord. The time has come to break the chains. Because if you have God in your life, if he's the Lord of your lives, if he's the center of your lives, if he's your Alpha and your Omega, the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of your faith, I'm here to let you know today that the time has come to break the chains for you are more than conquerors through him that love us. Jesus went to the cross so that we might be victorious over these things. He went to the cross so that no longer that we could be held in bondage from these things. Whatever your situation is, whatever the circumstances is in your life, you need to know the truth on today that as long as God is in your life and he is doing what he has to do in your life, that you are a child of God, that you can break these chains through him that loves us. You are more than a conqueror. You are somebody in Christ Jesus. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. No weapon that is formed against us will prosper. You need to know the truth on today. That no longer should you let these chains hold you back from the things that God has for you. No longer should you struggle. No longer should you deal with divorce and all these other types of things that I mentioned in our text and the things that I did not mention. You need to know that the power of God can break any yoke. The power of God can break any chains. So I challenge you today as we get ready to close our message on today that give your chains to God and nail them to the cross. Nail them all to the cross. 
Don't hold anything back. Give it all to God. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Give him everything that is weighing you down, holding you back, and stopping you from getting your blessing. The time has come to declare victory over the devil today. Get a surpassing victory through him that loves us. Break the chain, saints, for you are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord God, for blessing us. I thank you, Lord God, for giving us a surpassing victory through him that loves us. Father, I thank you for breaking the chains for us, for we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Father, you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten Son, that who shall ever believe in us shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Father, we just say thank you for your word. We thank you for blessing us with your word. We thank you for just keeping us in your word, that your word is in our hearts, in our minds, and comes from our lips, Lord God. We thank you for your word, Lord. We bless your name, all Heavenly Father. We magnify you. We lift you up. We exalt your name. For you said in your word, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Father, we just want to stop by and say thank you. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we ask as, as we go through this day that we remember thy word, that we break the chains that hold us back from our blessings from you. For we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen and amen. As you get ready to go through your day today, I want you to realize that you are more than a conqueror. That these things that have once weighed you down, let them go in the name of Jesus. Nail them to the cross in the name of Jesus. He paid it all so that these chains would no longer have an impact on your life. He paid it all so that you wouldn't have to go through these struggles. You wouldn't have to go through all of this pain. You didn't have to go through all of this other stuff that you're dealing with in your lives right now. I know that somebody out there right now will get this message and be blessed by it because the time has come to break these chains, break the things that are just slowing you down. Because the bottom line is this, saints, all of these chains are dead weight. And they will hinder you and they will hinder your spiritual growth. I'm here to let you know today that you need to ask God for the strength to break these chains, to be delivered from all of these different things that we talked about in our texts and those things that we did not mention. Break the chains. You are more than a conqueror through him that loves us. The time has come to gain a surpassing victory over the enemy and the works of the enemy. The time has come to let go of these things and put them on the cross. Don't hold on to this stuff any longer. Because the more you hold it, the more the weight will become. And it will be heavy. It will burden you. It will weigh you down. Trust me, I have gone through similar things in this text. I have gone through a lot of these things. Too many to mention. But at the end of the day, we must know the truth that God has the power to break these things from us, to release us from these things. So the time has come to get set free, saints. The time has come to get set on fire for God, to do the things that he has for us to do and break these chains. For we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. May you all have a blessed day today. May you all be careful on the roads if you are traveling. And important, we always tell you, take care of yourselves and each other. God bless you. Amen.